six ways to create an environment as that middle manager. And trust me, it sounds easy, it sounds simple, but without creating an environment for growth to cultivate the skills of the people you lead, it's gonna be tough. Everybody, Michael Laitler here, professional speaker, and in today's video, we're going to continue on with our three levels of leadership series. Today, we're going to be focused on middle managers. At this point in your career, you were a first level leader, however long that was, six months, a year, 10 years, and now you decided to elevate your career and take it to the next level. You're not in that CEO, C-suite, executive level type environment yet but you're the person that's in between those two leadership groups. More than likely, you've learned how to delegate. More than likely, you've learned how to get feedback. Now you're wondering, well, what is my role in leadership? Stop right there, you're at the right video. In today's video, we're gonna really emphasize the environment you can create as that middle manager to help ensure you're developing the leaders around you. Before we get into the video, make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button in order to be ready for that next video that comes after this one. Let's jump on in. In the intro of this video, you briefly heard me talk about six ways to create an environment as that middle manager. And trust me, it sounds easy, it sounds simple, but without creating an environment for growth to cultivate the skills of the people you lead, it's gonna to be tough. It's gonna to be tough to help develop the leaders, find their potential, and help build them. Because remember, one day, one day, you're going to lead the company. And most leaders, especially ones that are at the highest level of leadership skills, know that they have to start building the people around them. And for you, you're gonna have a little bit more time than that first level leader, and by the time you get to the CEO level, you're gonna hope that someone has already started to build up people around you. As that middle manager, I love to see them developing the people that's in their organization. I'm not saying go recruit all these leaders, but develop your potential because a lot of times there's people in your organization that's already ready to hit that next level. They just don't know it. This is your opportunity to create an environment to allow everybody to succeed. The first thing you're gonna do or start to do, if you haven't been doing it, and I'm hoping you're gonna do this first one, is model leadership. Be that spokesperson, be that role model, be that mentor for all the other leaders in your organization. For people to believe they can grow, for people to understand that there's more for them at that company, they're gonna to need to see it from you. They're gonna to have to see that person that's willing to take them to that next level. And what is one, what is one of the best ways to do it? model it be that person that's always trying to build others be that other ones that's always in offering encouraging words because for people to see the potential that they can do they're going to be looking at you especially your first level leaders they're going to be like well michael you're now in that middle manager's role what am i supposed to do to get there be the model make sure you're mastering delegation make sure you're mastering feedback and if you don't remember what we talked about go to the prior video that that we just had on first level leaders understand the simple steps it takes to effectively delegate and how to maximize your time giving feedback and once you do that make sure you're consistently doing it make sure whatever you know about leadership hopefully the positive things about it that you're taking this opportunity to go out and demonstrate it and live up to what you expect them to be the next way to create an environment for growth and to develop your leaders is to focus on that leader's needs and desires. Not everybody's the same. Not everybody, let's say for lack of better terms, is gonna have the same growth opportunities. There's some people that's gonna be very happy and only talented to be a first level leader, and that's fine. There's gonna be people that never get into leadership. That's fine. Make sure that that's what that person wants. Not what you want, as that leader, but what do they want? Do they have the passion of leadership? Do they have the passion to grow and develop? That's for you to find out. But that's when you start 
asking them questions like, hey, do you want to become a middle manager? Do you want to become a CEO? Do you just want to be a leader in general? Focus on their needs and desires because when people are dialed in on their own and they know what they want to do, or you can help them know what they want to do, they're going to be much more effective. They're going to hit those goals and those standards you set for them. But remember, you have to focus on their needs and their desires to help them reach that level of potential that you're trying to get. The third way to create an environment of leadership growth is to look for leaders. Sometimes we don't know what we're missing because we don't know. I know for me, I always wanted to be in leadership role. Like I knew I wanted to be in that. So when opportunities came up, it was very easy for me to jump into. However, there's been several people that I have mentored that didn't really know they wanted to be a leader. They didn't really know that they wanted to step their game up to that level and build teams and look at and drive home the mission at a different level. It wasn't until I started to talk to them and say, you know, I see the way you've been moving. I see the way you've been developing. I see the way you work within your team. And I truly believe you'd be a good asset, especially in a leadership role. Sometimes you have to go out there and see what your people want. Do they want to go higher? Do they want to have more responsibility? Because we know in leadership, the higher you go, the higher your responsibility is. But you have to sometimes go and meet them at the door. They may not know how good they are because maybe they've never experienced. I know for me, I didn't know about leadership roles. I didn't really have that kind of managers or CEOs in my household. It wasn't until I entered the workforce and I started to watch others. I had that drive to do it. So it wasn't very hard for me. But if people haven't seen it, they may not know what it is. One thing I don't like when people say is that leaders are born. I don't believe that's true. I believe leaders are made and they're made through the efforts of others. They're made because there's resources out there for them to get better. And this is your chance to be that resource. It's your opportunity to step in and say, you know what? I see something in you. What can I do to get you there? Look for that leader. Look for an opportunity to grow them. The fourth part of cultivating that environment, that level of growth you're looking for in that leader is emphasize production. When it boils down to it, results are what matter. Results is what's going to take the company to the next level. The results of whatever it is, is the most important. Not opinions, not, well, I thought we can do this. Have tangible results you can measure. If the person doesn't under, if they don't understand what they're looking for or what they're trying to achieve and they're not achieving it, maybe they're not the right person for leadership. Once again, not everybody has to be in a leadership role. Not everybody has to rise up through the ranks. But if they are, make sure they're producing at each level they're at. Make sure they're obtaining the results that are set forth because if they're not obtaining the results as a first level leader, they're not going to obtain them at your level as a middle manager. They're not gonna obtain them as a CEO. Let them understand that for you to get to this certain level, you have to hit certain results. You have to hit certain measurements, whatever those might be. You have to have certain benchmarks achieved. But without the production, you can't expect them to grow because as they grow or think they're growing, it's gonna to be tough for them to help lead anybody else. So make sure that you emphasize production, you emphasize results, and that they're actually achieving it, not just talking about it. The fifth part, and this might be kind of obvious, provide growth opportunities. Allow them to act in other roles. Allow them to take in temporary positions to kind of see if they're gonna like it or not. I know for me, I've been in prior leadership roles that once I, were, once I was in them for a period of time, not just one or two days, I realized they weren't for me for a number of reasons. But you gotta make sure you're providing growth opportunities. Make sure you're giving them a chance to be in these roles. Make sure you're promoting additional training. Make sure you're promoting books or whatever you believe will give them growth, but provide them with the tools. I know we've talked about a few things in this video already. You've already looked for the leader. Now, since you identified them, provide them with some chances to, to hit that next part. Don't just assume they're gonna figure out. It's gonna be part of your job as the leader to at least provide opportunities, tools, strategies to help them hit that next mark. The sixth part of creating this environment of growth, especially when you're that middle manager trying to develop leaders, pay the price. What does that mean? Literally, pay the price. When you're providing growth opportunities, 
don't just tell the person they have to do everything on their own for free. Spend a little money. There's a, a, a stat and I've used it for years and every time I've looked it up, it's been pretty consistent. The stat says it costs us three more times to hire a leader versus develop them. Three times more to hire them than develop them. If you're gonna pay the cost of hiring a new leader or someone you think that can lead, why don't you save some money and just develop the people you have? Pay the price, spend the money, do what it takes to build up the potential you have. As I said earlier on the video, we have so much potential. We have so many people in our organization right now, right now today, that can take it to the next level. You don't always have to go outside to get fresh thoughts. You don't always have to go outside to get new perspectives. But you do have to spend a little bit of money because even the outside individuals, they've spent some money or somebody spent money on them. That same money you're gonna use to recruit, whether it's incentives or just the hiring process in general, take some of that and send your people to training. Send the people you wanna grow to different conferences, whatever it might be. Be willing to pay the price because when you pay the price now, you'll see the results later. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there's a lot of content in here, but as a middle manager, there's a lot of different responsibilities that you're gonna have that you're gonna take away from that first level leader and try to minimize how much the CEO has to deal with. But this is your opportunity to develop leaders around you. This is your opportunity to provide a culture, an environment of growth. This is your chance to find the people that's in your company right now that can take them to that next level. Remember, these six areas are just touching the surface of what you can do as a middle manager, but it's something that you can easily do today. You can go look for people in your organization. You can start looking for growth opportunities. You can start understanding how leadership looks at all levels. You can do that because it's part of high, the highest levels of leadership. It's part of what it takes to make it to that next level. Once again, I thank you guys for being on this video. Thank you for watching everything. If you haven't had the chance, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notifications button because this is only part two of the three levels of leadership series, only part two. So think about that. We have one more left. And I just wanna make sure that you guys are be able, you guys can't see it when it comes out. Thanks again, you have a great day.